I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thank you for joining us today. AJN Resources completed a reconnaissance mapping and sampling program on its Kabunda South project in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the first modern exploration work undertaken in the area. The Kabunda South project is located roughly 120 kilometers southeast of the world-class Monono lithium and tin project, and the company's recently acquired Monono Northeast project. The company has the option to acquire a 75% interest in the Kabunda South project and a 70% interest in Monono Northeast project. Both projects lie within the broader pegmatite bearing belt which covers roughly 500 kilometers in the eastern DRC and is strongly associated with lithium, tungsten, tantalum, niobium and beryllium mineralization. The project, which lies in the Kabunda Pegmatite Corridor within the Monono region, Tanganyika province, is located roughly 500 kilometers north of Lubumbashi and can be accessed by road from Lubumbashi or Monono. Pegmatites with swajmine have been visually identified over 7 kilometers on the project area. The most significant pegmatite exposures with swajmine mineralization were identified in the northern 1.5 kilometers of the license area. Pitting transverses are currently being excavated and will potentially identify pegmatites which have not been exposed at surface. The main pegmatite body has intruded granites and is exposed over 200 meters in width at its northern extent and over 50 meters in the southern portion of the priority target area. Additional narrower parallel pegmatite veins with spodumene were identified to the west and east of the main pegmatite zone and will be followed up with future exploration. In the priority target area in the northern 1.5 kilometers, spodumene occurrences shown as blue dots cover 200 meters in the central zone. A total of 116 samples were collected on the license in which visible spodumene was identified at 36 locations. Samples will be prepared in Lubumbashi and a representative pulp sample will be sent to ALS Global in Ireland for analysis, with results expected in early August. The company intends to conduct a short drilling program over the northern priority area within the coming three to four months when a lower rainfall is expected in the region. Mr. Klaus Eckhoff, President and CEO, stated, We are extremely pleased at the extent of pegmatites with visible spodumene at surface, which have been identified in our early reconnaissance phase of mapping and sampling. This early work has already identified a 1.5 kilometer drill target, which will enable us to better understand the distribution of spodumene and the lithium grade within the pegmatites. The company has started talking to drilling contractors as the current dry season would be the optimum time to conduct site inspections and to mobilize drill rigs and equipment. The shares are trading at 32 cents. For more information on the company's other projects, please visit the company's website, ajnresources.com, contact Klaus Eckhoff, President and CEO at Klaus Eckhoff at monaco.mc or Sheena Eckhoff, Director Investor Relations at Sheena at Eckhoff consulting.com or by phone at plus four four seven four nine six two nine one five four seven. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.